Multi-board design is a unique feature of the CR8000 tool suite that permits the coordinated design of multiple boards in one product. Multi-board functionality encompasses both design and analysis. In this video, we'll analyze the track lengths for differential pairs that span across both of the PCBs in this multi-board design. As we look at the two boards in this multi-board design in 3D, we can see that Zucan Design Force understands the relationship between the two boards and the nets that span across both boards. Some of those nets that span across both boards are the differential pair nets. Multi-board signal integrity analysis is embedded within Zucan Design Force, and we can access it through the multi-board browser. In the multi-board browser, we can look at the system level E-nets and focus on the four differential pairs that span across both boards. The first thing we can do is review the track length for the differential pair nets that span both boards. To do that, we simply select the Update Values option and the track length for each differential pair is populated into the form. We can also view the topology for the differential pairs simply by selecting the differential pair that we're interested in reviewing and using the View Topology option. We can zoom in on the topology once it's displayed and review how the differential pair spans across both boards. We can see it starts at IC1 on one board goes over through the connector and then ends on the second board at the FPGA. If we go back to IC1, we can select it and designate it as a driver. And then we could then set a stimulus for it. In this case, we'll select 400 megahertz. At this point, we're now ready to perform signal integrity analysis. To do so, we simply select the signal integrity analysis option. Once the analysis is complete, the waveforms are displayed to us in the waveform viewer. Within the viewer, we could use the various toggle options to change the display of the results. For example, we can toggle frequency off and toggle electrical net graphs off to view the voltage chart over time. As previously mentioned, the signal integrity analysis functionality is embedded within Design Force. So to return to Design Force for routing, we simply close the viewer and the electrical viewer, move or close the multi-board constraint browser, and we're back in Design Force, ready to continue routing or adjusting the differential pairs based on the results of the simulation analysis.